Welcome to Drivers Dogs channel. I uh, hope you enjoy the upcoming video. Cheers. This one is part of my cooking series, Dogs Breakfast, Lunch or Dinner, and today's recipe is coming right up. Today's recipe is going to be baked beans, the Drovers Dogs Baked Beans. What I've done, I've preheated the oven to uh, 160 degrees Celsius, which is about 320 Fahrenheit. If you have a fan force, uh, it's about 140 on the fan force, which is 285. What I'm going to do, I'm going to heat up uh, some grapeseed oil. a splash of that. I have a cast iron casserole dish here. I'll heat that up. While that is heating up, I'll just run through what I've done in preparation last night. I've got some white beans, uh, about 375 grams of white beans. You can use uh, navy beans. These beans are soaked overnight, um, and I have rinsed them. What we will do, we'll do you'll see floating at the top just a couple of little bits of skin. Just remove that before we put them in. White beans, 375 grams. Coming along nicely now, I'll just add up one chopped, chopped onion. And I'll cook that around for five, five to six minutes to stir, stir it around over a uh, high heat. That's coming along nicely. So what I'm going to add now is um, one can of peeled tomatoes. One can of diced tomatoes, I just picked them, this one has basil and uh, oregano or oregano in there. And we need two cups of water. And I just rinse out the, the cans with every little last bit. Fell on the floor. Okay, so a uh, tablespoonful of tomato relish. That's a homemade tomato relish by one of my friend's mothers. And any tomato just I just gotta add one or two of that. Add some Worcestershire sauce. About a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Dijon mustard, a couple of uh, tablespoons of that, a third of a cup of brown sugar. Angostura bitters, just a little splash of that, just have a, there we go, splash of that little fellow. Molasses, about a third of a cup. That's about a third. I just add some chilli flakes. I don't know if you've seen one of my previous 
uh, videos, but these are homemade chili flakes. Just mix all that in. Going to add some bacon bones, I call them. Uh, the smoked smoked bones and about a kilo of that. And then lucky last the beans. Just cover it up before we bring it to boil. Heat right up there and uh, then pop it into the oven. Well, that sounds as though it's bubbling away. Let's have a little peek. That looks like boiling to me. Let's turn that off. And drop that into the oven. And now we'll be back in uh, three hours time. Welcome back. Um, three hours is just coming up. And I'll get um, the dish out of the oven. There we go, top comes off. and fogs up the camera. Let's get that unfogged. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just extract the, the bones. Then I'll let the bones cool off. For about 10 minutes. because it is too hot to try and separate the meat from the bones. Now, very careful that the, a lot of the bones break off. So you've got to be very careful towards the end uh, and plating the, the dish that you make sure that there's no stray little bones hanging around. Okay, I'll continue with this and I'll come back in about 10 minutes time. Well, here we are back again after about 10 minutes. So what I've got, it, I've gloved up. Um, I sometimes do, sometimes don't. But uh, it's going to be a very kind of dirty, greasy sort of process. What I'm just doing is taking the meat off the bones. So this process will take Five minutes, ten minutes, and what I'll do, rather than having you watch me do this, I'll turn the camera off and um, come back once it's all complete. Okay, that's all done now. There are the bones, and there's the meat. Uh, just pull the meat apart and that will do 
right now. So back into the bean mix. you stir it through with the fork you find a bone you'll actually hear a, a dull thud so I think I've done quite well today and no bones left so that goes back in the oven now for 30 minutes and um, then it's ready to eat uh, eat it by itself on the best is a nice thick toast, plenty of butter, uh, and tastes beautiful. So back into the oven, and we'll be back in half an hour. Okay, we're back again. Whilst you've been away, I've um, had the great pleasure to suck and lick all those bones they are very very nice i've got the last bits of meat off them okay i think it's just about half an hour now and uh, i will get it out of the oven smell of vision smells absolutely beautiful so the half hour was just about up wholemeal bread and that will do for a dog's lunch. Bon appetit!